It's official. Solar battery prices are down over 40% in 2024. Is this the bottoming of solar battery prices or will they continue to fall throughout the year? In this video, I'll explain the four reasons why solar battery prices have dropped so much this year and make sure that you stick around until the end because I will be going over whether or not I believe it would be a better decision for you to keep holding out for lower prices or pull the trigger now. So let's get right into it. Reason number four why home battery prices are down so much in 2024 is that installation timelines for these batteries has gone down significantly. You see, one of the biggest issues that solar installers faced over the past decade was that battery installations were taking a very long time and therefore costing them a significant amount of money in labor costs. It was not uncommon for a company to send out two or even three of their best battery electricians to install per se a two battery project and have the install take them two or even three days. You see, the installation of battery projects is significantly more complex than that of solar only installs. You need to conduct a more detailed site survey, load analysis, and you may even have to rearrange circuits within the home or install additional circuit breaker panels. And in some instances, you must interface these batteries with additional products such as EV chargers or generators, all while understanding how to connect these batteries to different inverter brands. Now, NASEP certified battery professionals can make on an hourly basis around 40 to $60 an hour. Though, after you take into account workman's comp and liability insurance, the actual cost of the contractor and what is called the fully burdened labor rate can come out to being in the range of 80 to a hundred dollars an hour per crew member. So now we're talking about thousands of dollars per day in labor costs that an installer will have to charge onto the homeowner in order to remain profitable on the project. And the fact of the matter was in the home solar industry before the past couple of years, a very small percentage of people were going solar and including batteries in the project really under 10%. Now, as net metering programs began to go away and nationwide outages began to increase, the market for batteries grew tremendously. Now, fortunately, the battery manufacturers heard all of the complaints from the installers about the install times and began to invest a large portion of their time into making install-friendly batteries. And so nowadays, with these newer batteries, such as the Tesla Powerwall 3, the Solar Edge Energy Bank, and the Enphase 5P, thanks to innovation such as integrating inverters, simplified wiring, mounting that only one person can handle, four to eight hour installations with under a two man crew is entirely possible. Now, additionally, there is a new game changing technology that is being used to connect these batteries to the meter in the house and that is called the meter socket adapter or by some called the meter collar. And what it's gonna do is be installed between the electrical meter socket and the meter itself and create a dedicated connection point for the solar battery system. What this will do is eliminate the need for extensive rewiring or modifications to the electrical panel and which you may have to rewire all of the critical loads into its own sub panel, which can be very time consuming and costly. So between the meter collar and other innovations, the labor cost is now significantly less for these batteries and the contractors can charge less to the homeowners and labor costs. Tesla Solar has been the first to market with including this technology in all of their Tesla Powerwall 3 installations. In their case, they call it the backup gateway or backup switch. It just depends whether or not your utility meter and main panel box are combined. And what they were able to do was shave off more than three and a half hours of install timelines as shown by this video, which is partially the reason why the Tesla Powerwall 3s have become significantly more affordable than the previous version Powerwall 2. Moving on to reason number three why solar batteries have fallen so much this year is going to be thanks to some basic economics. So number one, there is no longer a shortage or excess demand in batteries. Again, as I mentioned earlier, solar battery demand really shot up unexpectedly to many in 2022 and 2023 as net metering policies across the country began to fizzle out. In places like California and North Carolina, previous net metering programs in which excess energy from your house was pushed back to the grid for a one-to-one -one credit went away, leading homeowners in areas like those to be essentially required to invest into nighttime batteries. This means that for most all new installations in these large markets, it is going to require a battery which would now be filled up during the day and then expelled at nighttime to power the house, which many manufacturers did not expect to happen. Therefore, for the past few years, prior to this 
this year, the distributors and manufacturers could charge more money for these batteries due to the excess demand, which was a cost ultimately the homeowners had to pay. Fortunately, now in 2024, this is actually flipped. And now what we're seeing is supply exceed demand as interest rates have brought down install numbers. And so battery prices have dropped because of that. Aside from supply and demand, we are also seeing more and more competition enter the market. It has been interesting for me to see how these large solar conventions we go to have changed over the years. And one of the things that we've seen every single year is that more and more companies, more and more manufacturers are coming out with their own battery products. This has led the manufacturers to have to lower their prices to remain competitive, which is certainly good news for all homeowners. And then lastly, as far as broad economic factors are concerned, economies of scale has made the cost per unit of manufacturing lower as production volume increases. And so we're seeing the average cost per unit decrease along with that. By the way, if you are in the process of shopping for different solar plus battery options for your home, and you would like to get a quote for one of these now low cost batteries, or maybe you already have quotes for a wall mounted battery system, and you simply like to receive a comparison bid just to see that you're getting a good deal, feel free to reach out to us by using the link below in the description, and we would be happy to provide you with some options for your home. Coming into reason two why battery prices have fallen so much this year is going to be due to raw material prices falling. Now, specifically with home solar batteries, what you're going to see is that companies are using the LFP, lithium iron phosphate chemistry, instead of the previous NMC, nickel manganese cobalt, due to it being an overall safer and more powerful chemistry. Fortunately, electrical vehicles also use lithium ion materials. And so as demand for lower cost batteries has risen, we've been able to decrease the raw cost of these batteries year over year. This is due to a few reasons. So number one, increased supply. There is a surge in lithium production, which has led to an oversupply in the market, putting a downward pressure on prices. Number two, technological advances. So advances in lithium iron extraction and battery recycling technologies have led to lower costs and prices. And then number three, economies of scale, as the demand for lithium ion batteries has increased, especially with electrical vehicles and energy storage systems. Manufacturers have been able to achieve economies of scale, driving down the production costs. Now, interesting enough, US consumers end up purchasing more than 50% of all lithium related products, despite less than 1% of global lithium being mined in the United States. Recently, it was discovered that Nevada could hold one of the largest lithium deposits in the world. However, mining has been held back due to environmental conservatism, among other reasons. As far as what experts expect could happen to raw battery prices in the future, sources are mixed. Some say that as production increases to meet growing demand, prices may stabilize or even decrease, while other argues that as lithium reserves shrink and potential tariffs and environmental laws come into place, prices will rise. We'll just have to see. Now, I've got one more left to go, but I'm curious to know if I left anything off the list. So let me know down below in the comments if there's any other reason why you think solar battery prices may be falling, and I'd be eager to hear from you and give you my feedback. So lastly, the final reason in which home battery prices are falling is going to be incentives created by the Inflation Reduction Act. As a reminder, in August of 2022, President Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act into law, or the IRA, marking the most significant action Congress had taken on clean energy and climate change in the nation's history. And with that came large incentives for domestic battery manufacturing. With this bill, battery manufacturers can receive a tax credit on a percentage of their production costs. So 10% of the cost of production for battery cells that have a capacity of greater than 12 watt hours can receive a $35 a kilowatt hour credit and battery modules that have a capacity greater than seven kilowatt hours can receive a $10 a kilowatt hour credit or a $45 credit if the module does not use battery cells. And as I mentioned earlier, thanks to the fact that more companies are getting into manufacturing, as the tax credits increase, competition has increased as well, and the consumer is getting a lower price. Overall, 2024 is one of the best years to get a backup battery solution for your home, as we have seen lower prices thanks to excess demand among other factors. However, holding out for lower prices, especially if you're looking to finance, is also something that I could view as a rational decision. Now, if batteries interest you and you would like to potentially get one for your house thanks to the lower cost, but you don't know which one to get, feel free to check out my video going over the top five solar batteries of 2024, where I give a rundown on the hottest and most popular batteries of this year, which will pop up on the screen now. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.